Welcome everyone to the ever consistent war upon Sunday as we prepare for Halloween. Happy Halloween! How does trick or treating work on YouTube? Either way, welcome back to the Barbarossa campaign as we step forth to defeat some Italians. I still don't really know the history, which we will get to soon. But don't forget, even if you're not a huge fan of medieval or history, which would just be mind boggling, do still make sure to go and check out the spotlight at the end of the video for yet another pillar of the community to go ahead and check out. With that said, let's go ahead and seriously learn who the heck Barbarossa is. I really need to study this. The Battle of San Romano, playing as Frederick Barbarossa against the Milanese field force and a raiding party. No, no leaders once more. Fair enough. We've got a lot of siege equipment for a field battle. Fair enough. Not much infantry. Oh, two skirm four units of skirmish, five units of skirmish, two units of infantry, two units of mounted sergeants, and the royal knights themselves. All right, this could be a little bit tricky. Under siege by the Imperial Army led by Frederick Barbarossa, the citizens of Milan became desperate enough to try any stratagem that would break the siege. With help unlikely to reach them from beyond the besieging army, their best option was to sally forth and attack. If they could reach the Imperial baggage train, it could be destroyed and the besiegers would have to lift the siege. If they could destroy some of Barbarossa's siege engines and artillery, this too would benefit them. A wise commander such as Barbarossa could still be caught off balance by such a sally, but would soon organize a temporary defense to counter it. Right, if the enemy reaches the marked area at any point with at least one man, your supply train will be lost to your cause. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. So we cannot even allow a single soldier to arrive at the marked area. Well, it makes sense why our forces are so weird. This is, uh, this is actually a sally. So, um... Yep, yeah, Barbaros got caught with his pants down. Fair enough, game on. All right, welcome everyone to what is gonna be a massive time waster. The way this level works is you just have to hold. So it's 20 minutes, I know, but realistically you can't, can't really defeat both armies. They, they does say there is the potential to do it, but I think unless you snipe their general, I can't really see how. I'd much rather have the enemy spend time meeting up, and then we just wreck them. Spearman in. Looks like we're not going to be able to escape this area after all. But we can take down a ton of them. So we're getting set up there. We are firing in with our catapults as well. Getting some damage in that way. Go in and save those crossbows. All right, there we go, a nice solid flank. Yeah, broken, running. Hopefully we can charge them into their feudal knights as well. Broken, running. Spearman, General, Gal. We need as many men as possible to hold this enemy off.
Try and get some archers into position. Firing in on the enemy. Because... We haven't got anything else to do with them, really. See, what is annoying about this is that there's only 15, but it only takes one of them to make it into this circle, and we lose. So they are a threat, so long as they're there. Catapults are out. Peasantry... Moving in. Where are you? There you are. Go smash those peasants. archers as well. Oh, those are our archers. Okay. <laughs> that makes a little more sense. Oh, excellent. We're even catching these in the back. Nice. doing royal knights they've actually done pretty well but now they're getting tanned let's pull them out nice catapult to the feet right royal knights you do need to run you actually do need to. The enemy general reveals his true colors. Nice. As a coward. Managed and to break please. a general. It's picking up. Let's pull our general out. We don't want them getting caught up by too much. Not to mention, we can still have them attacking flanks. Oh, it's a catapult team. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Where are you? You're out. No, don't run. You can still fight. You can still fight and die gloriously in the name of the Emperor. They're all running away. How did we do this? How did this happen? What? <laughs> nice. Go on, we are going to charge them down. We're actually going to leave the spears here, though. Because, yeah, we're probably going to have to fight stuff again, aren't we? Ah, their feudal knights ran us off. We see you. All right, you keep running them on. We have, we have 20 odd for these gothics. We're going to try and knock down those Italian foot. Also going to get firing in on this king. I think we're going to have to get our king charging them. So we need this light cav continuing against theirs. We need our solid cav taking out others. Yep, we cannot allow them to make it in. So you just go cover up this hole and we'll just use them as bodies. Not bodyguards, bodies. <laughs> We're going Imperial Guard on this. Excellent, they span around. Right, archers.
Your soldiers now hold prisoner the wretched enemy general. How did this happen? I have no idea. But I'm happy. We have foot and knights. We're just going to extend after other stuff. King can keep chasing them off. I'm happy with this. Doing good. Speed her up at such. Let things regroup. Making sure nothing's near us. We have to chase them off. So good. That's done. Making sure they disappear. Yeah. Any of uh, any of this still still workable? Wow. <laughs> Just mincing them through. Well, we do see, we do actually need some units over here just taking care of the last of these. Because uh, they're the only ones pushing peasantry, that's fine. Anything can destroy them. Uh, Royal Knights, don't waste on the peasantry. Go attack those militia units. And I think we'll bring our infantry back up. So we do need some infantry around here. Leave these all chasing. All, right, all in these few men at arms. Reclaim that hill. We've only got a little bit longer to go. And we've dealt with the bulk of their forces. Which is very good. Make sure there's nothing making its way round back. Uh, we still lose if anything makes it in. It only takes one. Shattered at this point. Keep chasing those peasants till they disappear. It's too close, apparently. Pull some back. Just for bodies, at least then we know where everything is. Let's go hit these peasants. Oh, they're actually winning. I mean, they were. Downhill charge against the militia sergeants. Pull our archers out.
Get in there. Taking more of our own men out of that, right? What to you? Okay, they're still in. Roll. Let's group up our cavalry. Just so we can have them chasing things down. We know where they are. Nope, one of the right ones for the right job. Go. Run in. There we go. Okay, they're just going to charge the same enemy. That's fine. <laughs> if you feel you can manage it, defeat both invading armies. I think this unit must have cracked just looking at the gothics and been like, nope, everything's out. <laughs> I guess we win. Well, that was a pleasant little surprise, wiping out both forces. But it appears our... It appears our war on Sunday has been most victorious. And you can be made victorious too by checking out the Siberian Productions. Now this YouTuber popped up a, a little bit of a while back with some really interesting cinematic gameplay. Not to mention a genuine devotion to Empire Total War. And now has expanded their domain from simple Total War playthroughs to actually doing some really good historical shows depicting different battles, weaponry, as well as styles of war. All done via a mixture of Total War's in-game cinematics and actual historical sources. So if you want to learn a little something and enjoy some strategy gaming goodness, then make sure to go check out the Siberian Productions, this week's Pillar of the Community. And if you do, don't forget to give them a shout from Bear. Until next time. Peace out.